Hej, mitt namn är Odd Vera Jensal Åberg. Jag ska I'll present the poster for you. Uh, and it's about the teamwork intervention related to patient safety. We know that more than one out of 10 patients experience adverse events while they are in hospitals. It is very sad. And we all, we all so know that root cause analysis has shown that most of the adverse events arise from ineffective teamwork and communication failures. Much more than task work. When we planned this study, there was little team training research from the context of surgical wards. So we conducted an intervention study with a quasi experimental design in a combined urology and gastrointestinal surgery ward and with a matching control ward from another place in the hospital. Uh, it was a very comprehensive intervention. Team steps, interprofessional team training with simulation sessions, two scenarios, and a 12 months implementation phase. And two nurse and two physician leaders of the world were team steps master trainers and they conducted the training and the intervention and um, implementation. They used Cutter's eight step model for change. They established a change team with members from all levels in the organization. They developed an action plan. The change team did that. These four leaders were also members of the change team. And the chair of the surgical department was also a member of the change team. They communicate the plan to newsletters and so on. And the vision for the intervention and the action plan was zero hours. As many as 10 out of the 15 team steps tools or strategies were implemented over those 12 months. So here you just see a picture of the cutter model for change in organizations. To establish an, a sense of urgency is not difficult with patient safety incidents reports. So to get all the employees with you in a change report is maybe the most, the biggest challenge. It was compulsory training during work hours, but um, survey participation was of course voluntarily. So all the healthcare professional in both wards were invited to respond on, a survey, on some surveys at baseline and after 12 months. So the professional outcomes were measured by a teamwork questionnaire and the organizational outcomes were measured by a patient safety culture questionnaire. It was 25 in the sample of the intervention ward and 19 in the sample of the control ward. That was the persons that responded both times, both at baseline and after 12 months. And we had very good response rates. The results showed significant improvements in organizational and professional outcomes within the intervention ward. So the organizational outcomes was the patient safety culture, significant improvement in three measures, teamwork within unit, communication openness, and manager expectation action promoting patient safety. And also in three teamwork dimensions, situation monitoring, mutual support, and communication. Only leadership, but not significant improvement. That was very high baseline in this world. So when we compare to the control world, we found positive differences three patient safety culture measures in favor of the intervention ward and that was in teamwork within units patient safety grade and overall perceptions of patient safety so to conclude these results suggest that team steps team training and implementation had an impact on teamwork and patient safety culture in the surgical world and team steps may be useful in surgical world context also in norway for further reading, you can see our BMC research notes that was published in 2019. Thank you and good luck.